All right, how you doing this morning? So, look, I don't want y'all to go jump at all into con conclusions and stuff like that. I'm just discussing what's uh, why well, I've already discussed this case, and maybe I'm just kind of like bringing an update on it, and I'm just asking these hypothetical questions. So, I don't want y'all to, to come to conclusion saying that that's what this person did. See, I don't know if there's people trying to be funny, all right, or they're just not using rational thought to say, well, that's what I'm assuming or judging and stuff like that, okay? And just to let you know, in this life, you will be judged, okay? You'll say some crap like that because you don't want nobody judging you or telling you bad news, okay? That applies to you gang stalkers, okay? But just because you may have a large profile or you may have a large following don't mean you can't be checked. Now, let's talk about this young lady. Her name was Ariana Preston. I made a video about this young lady, what, Sunday over an incident that happened Saturday. She was a young cop out there in Chicago. All right, found dead in front of her front yard. All right, that she had her service, uh, well, her service weapon and her badge was missing. I think she had the Apple identifier that said that she was out in front in the front yard that pinned her out in her front yard. I guess it's an Apple Watch thing. Okay. Now, I was looking at the police reports. You can look at the report yourself. I believe it's the WGN out there in Chicago, CBS News, okay, where they had the family went out there and prayed and the community and then the police force and all that, all right? And according to that police chief or whatever deputy chief or whoever that was speaking in public relations, I got to get that guy's name. OK. I think he liked to wear his police hat. All right. I don't know maybe if he's conscious because he got a ball spot in his head or what. But. Um, according to reports that this woman was and uh, could have been possibly ambush. Let's let this truck get out of the way here. Looks like they do some mining up here for rocks and stuff. I think they got lime in these rocks up here down the street where I live up here in these halfway up in these mountains. But um, <clears throat> there was three people that was held suspect, but no charges had been made yet. I guess the way they do it in Chicago is they have to have charges within 48 hours to when whatever suspect or maybe subject gets booked. If not, either they get released or they have to get an approval for whatever suspects or subs, uh, subjects to stay until they can get the the evidence that they needed. Okay, so I as, I'm, uh, as of this morning, no charges has been made yet, but there's been three people that's been brought in for people of interest. According to what the police was talking about, that particular uh, police chief or deputy chief that they wanted to get some DNA and so forth, all right? This is what they said, okay? Uh, along with whatever evidence they, that they needed. But to me, this sounds like something beyond robbery that she was supposed to have been robbed. This sounds like an ambush, okay? Um, and furthermore, if there's DNA that tells me that they tried to do something more to this woman, okay, then, you know, then they just kill her. And she was, she got hit several times, all right? Uh, it makes me think that. Uh, it makes me think these things. But I think that the community particularly the family, they want answers and they want an, an arrest.
okay? And I think right now there's a lot of uh, pressure on the uh, that's been put on the police department out there to make a, 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 an arrest for this woman for her justice, you know, not you know just for her but her also for her family, okay? So right now this is a very very hot issue right now. You know, so I don't know, again, if I could trust the Chicago police. You know, I've heard a lot of uh, unfavorable things about about them, about the, the police force, okay? And it makes me think, are they trying to hide something? Now, let me set that aside, and I want to get at why I said what I said earlier when I made that disclaimer. My thing was, it makes me think, you know, did she know these guys? When I say she, that's the officer Preston. Maybe, uh, how can I say, was what type of, if, if she did know the guys, then what type of, in what way was she involved with uh, a, a person or these people, okay, that had some affiliation with these killings, uh, the killings, what type of affiliation that she, she had, that's if that's the case. Okay, and I'm not saying that nobody did anything. So, this is a story that I think that I want to follow, and hopefully I can, you know, they can be able to get some type of, I don't know, uh, restitution, but for the most part, they're able to get some, some charges for, the, for those guys that did it. All right, and I'm going, I'm going to be following this story here, all right? Because I just think this is a thing where, man, it really had me thinking about this woman and thinking about this case right here that she was getting ready to graduate with a master's in jurisprudence in law. And now her life is cut short. 24 year old young lady. OK, that maybe perhaps could have made a difference. All right. And now that's like I say, now that's over with and not in a good way. This is a, not a good story. All right, let me know what you think about the video here. I want to make another video about this guy in the NFL. This guy's got cut short, his career cut short over a lot. So stay tuned for that. All right, peace.